Hello and welcome to another episode of Life Stuff 101. This is day 14 of the series of mini episodes as part of the Challenging Times Self Care Challenge. My name is Mio Yokoi. I work as a registered psychotherapist in Toronto, Canada, and also as a coach and supporter to striving highly sensitive folks everywhere. And before we begin, I'd like to make sure to mention that what I share on this podcast is for general information purposes only and not meant to be specific advice. And for personalized help, questions, or concerns you may have, please consult your doctor or appropriate medical or mental health care provider. Again, welcome to day 14 of the Challenging Times Self-Care Challenge. The goal with, of this challenge is to give you a little something to add a bit of structure to your day to help with self-care. It's my hope that by building in some time for self-care, it might also help to support you emotionally and mental health during this difficult time. Or even if these prompts serve as distractions for a few minutes in your day, I hope that might be of help too. And I'll also make sure to repeat in every one of these episodes that even though it's called a challenge, you know, the reality is just getting by day to day, moment to moment with what's going on right now in and of itself is a lot. But these prompts are here to support you. So this challenge isn't about productivity. It's about self-care. And if you'd like to be notified when each of these episodes are uploaded, you can either subscribe to the podcast wherever you listen to podcasts, or you can also go on over to lifestuff101.com slash challenge, which has a list of every episode. So before we get into day 14 of the challenge, day 13's prompt was take time away from screens or adjust settings on your screen and to make sure to relax your eyes. So what it seems like a million years ago, before this whole COVID-19 situation started, many of us were already used to looking at our phones multiple times a day. And if work involves looking at screens, that was also already a lot of screen time. There were many folks who were already experiencing a collapsed core or curved shoulders, maybe even bad posture from engaging with the phone so much. But for now, for so many of us at home, it's at a whole new level. Working from home might mean not only staring at our screens all day, but video conferencing, meetings, classes, or webinars might also mean that you're looking at screens which can feel like it's now all the time. Your eyes can feel strained from staring at one thing that's brightly lit. You may also not be blinking as much, which might lead to dry and itchy eyes. Even though it can be easy to fall into the habit of working on our phones, computers, or watching TV for prolonged periods of time, it can be helpful to be mindful of our daily screen time and to either take steps to reduce the amount of blue light we're taking in by either adjusting the lighting of the screens themselves or to take time away entirely from screens. Because... When we're not feeling great and when we're, when we're strained in some ways, like if, even if it's our eyes or it could be that we have headaches or shoulder pain or neck pain or back pain, this also impacts our mental health. So just being able to take some time away from screens on a regular basis might help just to feel for us to be feeling a little better on a daily basis. I'd like to know how you made out with day 13 of the challenge. You can find me on Twitter at Lifestuff101Pod, on Instagram at Lifestuff101Podcast, or on the website at Lifestuff101.com. Now it's time to get into day 14. And today's self-care prompt is taking time for reflection. Whether it's through this challenge and these self-care prompts or in other ways, it can be helpful just to pause and take stock, especially because we are experiencing such unusual times when the days can seem as though they're just blending into one another. And just like on day seven of this challenge, I decided that every seventh day will be the day I take some time to reflect. For myself personally, I do like to reflect on the weekends, but for this particular challenge anyway, it'll be every seventh day of the challenge. I feel that there is a difference between taking time to reflect and making meaning. And I think that many of us want to make meaning of things. And maybe, especially right now, there's a feeling around What is all this supposed to mean? Or what am I supposed to make of all of this? And 
you know, it's my belief that since we're still in the middle of this, it might not be possible to have a full picture right now. It's like we're gathering all the puzzle pieces so that at, the, at a different time in our lives, we can put the puzzle together and we can get the fuller picture. But when it is possible to have all those pieces in place, and we're able to look back and take stock, it can be helpful to have things like a record of some recollections to round out how to make meaning of it all. So to have those puzzle pieces um, that we're creating right now, just to be able to have at a different time. One of the biggest things I've learned about myself through this, um, so this is something that I have learned through my daily reflections, and even these um, every seven day reflections, is that Early on, I took this opportunity to wean out regularly drinking caffeine. Right before the decisions were made uh, for us to be staying at home and self-isolating, I had a really helpful virtual consultation with Sherry James, who is a naturopath in Australia. I was talking to her about how my sleep pattern and quality of sleep had changed drastically since I'd been on a very low carbohydrate way of eating a few years ago. It actually really did a number on me. Um, And at one point, the sleep deprivation that I was experiencing at the time had really taken a toll. It's been a couple of years now, and I've made a lot of different kinds of tweaks. And I've been sleeping better as a result, but it was still not very quality sleep. And after consulting with Sherry about, I guess it would be a month ago now, she suggested, amongst other things, that I cut out caffeine. So I took this chance of being at home to do that, and it's made a tremendous difference in my quality of sleep. But more importantly, when I do notice the changes in quality of sleep on a day-to-day basis, I can have a better understanding of what variables might be contributing to my quality of sleep on any given day. Because I do notice that every day, the quality of my sleep or how I feel how my, the, the previous night's sleep was does change. And so it could have been the food I'd maybe eaten the previous day, maybe some news I may have consumed, or thoughts I may be having about my work or personal life. And through these reflections that I that I try to do on a daily basis, I'm learning what seems to be the causes of the things that impact my well-being and sleep. And because sleep definitely for me is something that it makes a significant impact on how I'm feeling and doing on a daily basis. But to round it off here, taking time to take stock and take and to bring awareness to these variables has allowed me to have a better understanding of how things impact me, which then impact my sleep. But it's given me such a better understanding of the things that are that do impact me in such large ways for me. Now, This might not necessarily be the area you focus on, although I do believe that sleep is something that's important for all of us to have a good relationship with. But I thought I'd give you uh, an idea of what a reflective practice can look like. And as you can probably tell, I am quite focused on my quality of sleep at the moment. So it is something that I am reflecting on on a daily basis. But I also do reflect back every weekend to see if there was anything to learn or adjust based on my daily reflections. So the day 14 of the self-care challenge is taking time today for reflection. So here are your steps for today's challenge. Step one, set aside 10 minutes today to dedicate to completing today's self-care prompt. Before beginning, take three slow, deep breaths breaths. Step three, answer the following questions. Answer the following questions. A. How would I describe my experience this past week or the last few days? B. What three things stand out? C. What, if anything, did I learn about myself? D. How am I doing in this very moment? And E, what would I most want to remember about this moment? Step four, end off the exercise by taking three slow, deep breaths. I'd like to hear about your thoughts about today's challenge, and I'd also really like to know how you're doing. Please reach out to me on Twitter at Lifestuff101Pod, or on Instagram at Lifestuff101Podcast, or on the website at Lifestuff101.com. 
So that's day 14 of the Challenging Times Self-Care Challenge. Take time today for some reflection. And thank you for participating in these challenges and stay tuned for day 15 of the Self-Care Challenge. Until then, please stay safe and in good health wherever you are in the world. And I'll be speaking with you again for day 15 of the Challenging Times Self-Care Challenge real soon.